today we're going to talk about personification. I want you to take a look at this word. Do you see any other words inside of this word? There's a big clue to the meaning of this word. If you notice, there's the word person, the word person. Now, this gives you a clue to the meaning because personification means when you give a human quality, qualities of a person or people, like actions or feelings or thoughts, to non-human objects. So when you're giving some kind of non-human thing, the qualities that humans have. Let's look at some examples. The leaves danced in the wind. Now leaves don't actually dance, right? Dancing is something that humans do. But by saying the leaves danced in the wind, it means they're moving in the wind. Uh, it gives you some, gives the reader some kind of image that they can picture the leaves and how they move in the wind. The toys hated playtime in preschool. Now toys are not humans. Toys can't feel emotions like love or hate. But by saying the toys hated playtime in preschool, the reader can kind of know that maybe the preschool kids are really rough on the toys and it's not a good thing for the toys in playtime. One more example. The forest loved all the animals. Again, a forest can't feel emotions. But here, saying the forest loved all the animals, you can kind of know that the forest is the home for the animals. It takes care of them. So all of these are to give some imagery, some feeling, some way for the reader to picture uh, what's happening. And this is personification. These actions, or feelings, or thoughts that non-human objects exhibit. Let's take a look at this poem, Rags, by Judith Thurman. The night wind rips a cloud sheet into rags, then rubs, rubs the October moon until it shines like a brass doorknob. There is a lot of figurative language packed into this tiny little poem. There's a metaphor, simile, and personification in these short seven lines. The first we see is the metaphor. A cloud is being compared to a sheet. Like here, a cloud is being compared to a sheet, which is being ripped into rags, into small pieces by the wind. The moon is being compared to a doorknob. The moon is being compared to a brass doorknob. And what's being personified, the wind is doing some human actions. First of all, the wind is ripping the sh clouds into rags. Then the wind is rubbing the moon until it shines like a doorknob. Just like you might use a rag to wipe a doorknob to clean it to make it shine, the wind is moving the clouds across the moon and making it shine. So in this small little poem, I hope you can see the idea of personification, of how one object is given um, human characteristics of ripping and rubbing.